A very blissful good morning to everyone. And today I will discuss about the poem The Road Not Taken. The Road Not Taken, as the title refers, it means the road not selected. It means there is one road which has not been selected. And by whom? By the poet, definitely. And it can be with any person. This poem, The Road Not Taken, is composed by Robert Frost. Robert Frost is such a name in American history, American literature, that no one can deny from the fact that he was a very renowned poet. Robert Frost, who was born in 1874, died in 1973, is the only American poet who was rewarded four times Pulitzer Prize. Robert Frost was such a great personality at that time. Then President John F. Kennedy called him to recite the poem The Gift of Pride. He has composed. The Gift of Pride is a great patriotic poem. You can go through. You cannot ignore this poet. This poet is so powerful in the field of literature. Robert Frost has also composed world famous lines in the poem Stopping by Woods on a snowy evening that you can go through that poem. Very coarse lines as The woods are lovely, dark and deep. The woods are lovely, dark and deep. But I have promises to keep. And miles to go before I sleep, and miles to go before I sleep. These are the lines which were found on a paper when Jawaharlal Nehru, first Prime Minister of India, and he died. So, such great poet Robert Frost was. No one is untouched by this great poet in the field of literature in the field of life. So, the road not taken is also one of the great pieces of poetry we find here today. Let's discuss. The poem starts with two options. In our life, what to do, what not to do, what to select, what not to select. It starts with the lines, two roads diverse in a yellow boat. And sorry, I could not travel both. The poet wants to say that the, once the poet was going, going through a forest and he found two tracks, two paths, and he was interested for both the tracks, but as he was a single traveller, he had to, he had to like single track that he could adopt and he could, go, he could move from that track. So, he was just saying that two roads diverse in yellow wood and sorry I could not travel both. He was a single traveller, that's why he could not go for both the tracks. Two tracks were there when he was going through the forest and now I stood and looked down one far as I could. So as a poet, the poet is very creative. The poet is always a creative creature and this poet is not exceptional. He also starts meditating over the matter. Which track he should select? And that's why he started meditating a lot. He started thinking a lot. What, which option should be better for me? Which track should be better for me? So look down one for as I could too. Well, it bent in, bent in the undergrowth. It is one mistake here, it has been done. See, here we have to write two, two, two. Okay? Yes, yes. yes. To where it bent in the undergrowth. That where it had, had gone, that both the tracks, undergrowth, undergrowth here, yes, 
this word not developed not developed both the tracks were not developed who will develop it it will be poet poet will be the poet will be developing it and that's why the poet was determined to develop it the poet started thinking a lot the poet took initiative that it's my task if nobody did it i will do it the poet is no doubt is an adventurous person in his life and he proves here in this poem that you know order to take risk you must be adventurous and he has taken the risk and that's why he is robert frost that's why no one can be robert frost in our life also when we will find two options we have to think a lot which option should be better for us our decision makes a lot of difference in our life in our career in our life also we find the same situation sometimes so it depends on us what to select what not to select what is right what is not right it depends on your mindset that's why you must be calm and cool refreshed and then you should take decision according to the poet next and yeah then to the other and then he decided that he will be selecting the second try to the other, second try just as fair because he found that it is my fair decision after thinking that it was it was looking that it was according to the poet it was fair decision i am having perhaps the better thing and after the assessment done by poet poet found that second track was the better option and yes because it was grassy and watered there because second track was more grassy than the first one the poet wanted to say here the poet wants to say here and he says that but it was grassy and wanted to that's why i took the decision that's why we took this decision so it was grassy and wanted we wanted we wanted steps if nobody dared to go to that track or say it far so i will be going for that track i will be setting examples the poet wants to say that he will be setting examples for others he will be he will clarify me every doubt regarding that track and then people will be able to go through that track it means before poet nobody took initiative he took initiative and then do as for the passing there had won them really about the thing do as for the passing there many people might have gone through that through through this forest and they might have encountered these both tracks but they never dared to go to these tracks to go through these tracks that's why the poet took the decision that the poet will will clarify each and every doubt regarding the track and that's why we have taken the decision and the and people also passing there have won them them people them people people also might be there might be some people who also tried to go through but they were not really about the same same feeling they had also in their heart but they were not successful because they could not dare they were not so adventurous as poet is and that's why poet took the right decision and both that morning equally both both tracks this standard third standard here and both that morning equally did and it was both the tracks were there and there yes and both that morning equally did and leaves no step had fallen black and no step was noticed there there was no sign of any step on both these tracks so he decided to select one track for for first time and then he decided to take another for second time but both the tracks had the same thing that it was that both the tracks were not used by anyone so it was not stepped those tracks were not stepped by anyone and that's why what that he decided that he initiative and he said oh i think the first for and the and the first for first for this what because he he decided to select second track that's why he just he just he, he just kept in his mind that he will he first for another day another day next day if he will be able 
to complete the journey of the second track, then he will not be taking rest. He will be going once again for the journey of the first and another day. Another day, once again he will start the journey of the first track also. It means two tracks are there, he decided. First he thought that this track he should select. Then he decided, okay, second half, second track, it had the and having perhaps the better claim. Took the other just as fair, other second one, second track, and then perhaps having better, having okay, and having perhaps the better claim. Because it was the better option for the poet as poet. After a lot of thinking, he took the decision and then he thought, okay, then he will be going for the second track. But when he will be able to complete the journey of the second track, he will be not take, taking rest and he will be going for the first track once again. And yet knowing how we lead on to the yes. He knows the reality of this world. That yet knowing, yes, I know this reality, that how we lead on to the one way is connected to another way. If there is a will, there is a way. The poet knows this reality. And there, yes, how we lead on to way. One track is connected to another track, one path is connected to another track, and I doubted if I should ever come back. Yes, why not? He doubted. Because he is a dead, he is an adventurous person. He started thinking about I doubted. Doubted means what? Death. He doubted, he doubted, might be in problem, might be in severe problem, might be in accident, or whatsoever that. So he, he he just clarified himself that he doubted that if he, if I should ever come back, that whether he will be able to come back or not, but when he will be able to come back, then he will not be taking rest, he will be going for the first track. He decided. Because the poet is an adventurous person. Anyone in the world who will take risk, always the person has the option in the mind, always has fear in the mind of any uncanny incident. Here, the last time we will find it. I shall be telling this with a sigh. Sigh. You, you take a sigh when, when you, when you have done any task that is assigned to you. So he has taken this risk, he has taken this initiative, when he will complete the journey of both the tracks, then he will be satisfied, then he will be telling, then, then he will be informing to each and every one with satisfaction. Okay, yes, I have done a great job in my life. Somewhere is his, is his hands. Somewhere, that once upon a time, somewhere, there were two tracks. In his images, that yes, future generations, that he will be informing everyone that yes, and yes, we are the future generations. We are in his point. We we know, we know his spirit. Yes, how adventurous he was, and today he is a very renowned poet, no doubt. So yes, some words is and his hands that some word that I found two tracks. Many years ago, I found two tracks. A poet found two tracks and two roots that was in wood, in a wood, and in the forest I found two tracks were there, two roots were there, and I, I took the one less traveled here, but I not to not to take a breath. To read the poem, semicolon, column, hyphen, you have to take a breath. Full stop, you have to take a breath. These are very important punctuations when you read a poem. The meaning differentiates. That's why you must concentrate on punctuation to the poem. It, it is the rule of a poem when you want to read a poem successfully. So it is, I took the one less traveled by, yes, and there were two roots somewhere, yes, above, that I, I found two roots were there, and then I took one less traveled by, and then I selected the track which was less traveled by, nobody delivered, less traveled by, few people there. But they could not complete the journey. But yes, I did because I am Robert Frost. I am an adventurous person. Yes, I take the risk in my life. That's why I am successful. That's why I am Robert Frost. And I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. And that has made me a great personality like Robert Frost. That's why I am such a great poet. The poet wants to say. The poet wants to give give a message to the 
whole world to us to, our, to his readers that if you take risk in your life then you will be successful you will have to take initiative what others have not taken what what others dared not to take risk you have to take risk if you want to be successful and if you find two options in your life that he found two tracks two roads so you have to think a lot you have to meditate over the matter and after a lot of thinking then you have to take the decision otherwise you will regret a lot of your life the poet wants to give us a message in our, our, our real life also many students who just suppose that they, they have a class the 10th standard they are also very confused sometimes whether they have to select PCB stream physics chemistry biology or physics chemistry PCM stream physics chemistry mathematics or they have to go for arts they have to go for commerce this is the simple uh, that way uh, you could, this, is, this is the simple way to select select the better option what is the simple way after a lot of meditation otherwise these things will be very complicated in our life and they will make our life very complicated that's why before taking any decision we, we must assess a lot we must be adventurous like Robert Frost we must be optimistic and the 10th standard also the poem that I prepared videos that was fire and ice and one poem was fire and ice and another poem was another poem was fire and ice and one more poem was there so fire and ice and uh, fire and ice and one more poem where the hammock tree is there and the crew is there that both these things both these things are a very negative things and auspicious things for other people but the poet took it right the poet the poet took it right that for other people it might be very inauspicious things but for me for me it doesn't matter my attitude my willpower matters a lot the poet starts thinking about that so this is what I am trying to say I am trying to create such experience in your life also you have to think a lot about it now we will talk about the rhyme scheme of the poem rhyme scheme of the poem you find that you have to how to find rhyme scheme of the poem I'm telling you you have to select the last word of the line last word of the line first time then last word of the line last word of the line you have what? here good A then both B different different rhyme scheme good both different rhyme scheme then stood A same rhyme scheme then could same as in A and then under both, both under both. Mm -hmm. So A B A A B. What is the rhyme scheme of the poem? Of this kind of A B A A B. This is rhyming good, stood, could, A A A and both under both, B B. So A B A A B is the rhyme scheme. This is way to find out the rhyme scheme. Now this tends also we can go through fear, plain, where, there and same. So fear is rhyming with where and same. Means A, A, and A. Then claim is running with, with here. Yes, claim is running with same. Sorry, here B, and this is A. This is B. yes, fair, where, and there. So A, 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 and claim and same B B. So rhyme scheme A B A A B. This can also have the same rhyme scheme like the first one A B A A B A B A A B. Now see this third third standard that we lay. A and B, A, e, A e and A, black and black, B, B. So rhyme scheme once again you find A, B, A, A, B, like these two standards, the other. And then last, last time then you find shy, bar, shy, bar and I, A, A and A, and then hence B and difference B. Means this standard also has the same rhyme scheme A B A A B. So all the standard you find the same rhyme scheme. It means the poem's rhyme scheme is A B A A B. So this is what that we can find it out. And if you talk about literary devices, you find that this standard first line starts with that two, but the second line you find and 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 third, first second line and third line and 
fourth line and nine. So nine and nine, same line. It starts with that's why you find anaphora to the last page. Which to the last page? Anaphora to the last page. And you will find here. And here you will find that some word is is and is 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 and is is. That when the same word is being repeated, you have to find which to the last page is here. You have to find that here you find a repetition to the last page. Is is and is is. That here you can find it like this. And yes. Uh, yes, first four, first four. Here, same sound. That, that, that same sound has been being repeated. That's why alliteration for your speech. A L L I T E R A T L M. So this poem is also uh, all, all the, also very enriched in the field of literary devices and wanted here. The word, uh, the same sound is being repeated. W W. Same sound. Wanted verb. Wanted verb. That's why you find here alliteration for speech. A L L I T E R A T L M. This is what that I have tried to tell you. Okay, I have to I have to just highlight this poem. Uh, I have tried my best, I think. So you can go through this poem and do not forget read about Robert Frost. Robert Frost is a poet that if you read about him, you will be you will be very strong person. Definitely poets and writers if you read frequently. It enhances our personality. We must be a very good reader. We must be a voracious reader by reading literature. Literature gives us a direction of life. That's why we must believe in literature. We must go for literature. This is what that uh, we can find here. So poems and stories or novels you have to go through. And this poem is not exceptional. But this poem is also very inspirational and especially for children, for students. This is. Kind of poem which can highlight the path of life. Thank you, everyone.